und hallo zu einer neuen Aufnahme von The Tales from the Borderlands. Ja, das ist diesmal jetzt so mitten in der Woche, weil von der ersten, ersten Episode von The Walking Dead Season 2, die ja jetzt neu angelaufen ist, gab es leider nicht so viel Aufnahmematerial. Dadurch startet Tales from the Borderlands einfach mal so mitten in der Woche und ich würde sagen, wir starten mal. Zu Episode 5, die Kammer des Reisenden. Here we are at the finale. Or should I say, finally, huh? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I don't write this stuff. If you recall, the long journey to the Vault of the Traveler actually began by accident. Atlas's gorgeous robot was designed to not only summon the Vault of the Traveler, it was also meant to deal with the complications of entering the Vault. Two unlikely Vault Hunters began to assemble it, but one component remained out of reach on a Hyperion space station. Pressed into service by the local crime lord, they concocted a plan to sneak aboard. The corporate lackey had access to inside information, but he didn't dare reveal his source. An old rival provided a priceless disguise, <laughs> while new allies helped cobble together a rummage sale rocket you ship. A rocket. Once again, tempting fate, they flung themselves into space. Indeed, they would have died up there, were it not for the sacrifice of a noble soul. Finally aboard the space station, The salaryman found himself contending with his ambitious former accomplice. But time was short, and he was very busy, so he referred her to his assistant. Working together, the gun artist and the salaryman managed one last miracle and acquired the final Gortis component. But just then, Handsome Jack offered the salaryman everything he had ever wanted. How could he possibly refuse? Put them in one of the cells for questioning. me at one of the security checkpoints. We're here desecrating art! Uh, what? We all know about the plan. We intercepted your comms. So... Oh, cool! So we don't have to explain it! Where's Reese? That asshole electrocuted me and ran. Oh, hey, you know, you've got something on your face! What was on her face? Did you get it? I believe I did. Get them into the cell. Hey, President Asshole, what's taking so long? Reese! What is going on up there? Let's get dirty! I can't believe it. What? That you're finally in charge? Don't be surprised, kid. I mean, not to sound like a frickin' shampoo commercial here, but you deserve it because you killed a lot of people to get here. But listen, I know where you're coming from. A little imposter syndrome's normal when you basically just become a god. Limitless power, sweet office. So, what's the catch? The catch was that you had to kill like a hundred people to get here. And you did that, kid, because you are a badass. 
Look, let me tell you, you're done with catches now, all right? There are no more catches for you for the rest of your life, ever. When you want something to happen, it's just gonna happen. That's what power feels like. This is a perfect partnership, Reese. You trusted me, I trusted you, and now we're here. And never really had a partner I could count on before. Feels kind of dope. But enough talking, am I right? It's time for you to make your first command as president, Reese. Now you gotta project power. You gotta project vision. But you also want to convince the toadies that you care about them. That's important. Yeah, uh, how exactly do I do that? Oh, that's such a good question. You are on the ball today, Reese. Here, given the current corporate landscape, there's three big changes you could make right here, right now. Which one's it gonna be? Ooh, what the thing? Konto ausgleichen, feuern den Aufführungsabteilung. Hm. Hmm. No, 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 Macht for fuel. Let's blast a bandit camp. I love it. Great to know all your time down there hasn't turned you into a psycho lover, kid. You know what? I'll tell you what. Let's target... Prosperity Junction. Oh, wait, wait, what? Target locked. No, 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 no target locked. Prosperity Junction is not a bandit camp. Yeah, close enough. Fire it! Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, chill out. It's fine. Wasn't a big mortar. Worst case, maybe we killed half a dozen dudes. Hey, wait, wait. Who, who cares? It's small-time stuff. You, you really gotta see this next project I've got prepped. <laughs> It's a sick-ass endoskeleton not Yama made for me. Oh, that thing has a body? I, I didn't thought it was just for holding coffee mugs or something. See, they were gonna put it inside my original body and then upload my consciousness into it, so I'd be wearing my old body like a skin suit. It's great, right? I mean, okay, but what's this gotta do with me? Hang on. I'm getting to that. All right, now the one problem was how to get the endoskeleton into my body without killing me first. But since I'm dead anyway, I had a way cooler idea. Are you ready for this? This is awesome. We make a shitload of these endoskeletons, we put them into the corpses of the bandits we killed, and then we upload my AI into all of them. You want to make an army of jacks? Freaking awesome, right? I mean, Hyperion troops die in battle. Grab the corpse, shove an endoskeleton into it, boom! Another jack. Some asshole gives you lip, boom! Jackpot. Successfully wipe out a bandit camp, you turn the corpses into more jacks. Within a few months, Hyperion would have the smartest, best looking fighting force in the universe. And the best part is, Reese, baby, you're gonna be the first recipient. Huh? And now I, I know metal skeleton forcing its way into your body. Uh, scary idea. What the hell is wrong with you? There is no way I am doing that. Uh, detecting a little ingratitude here, Reese. I did make you present. Have we just mortared a bandit camp together? Really? If I'm being honest, backing out after you got to have your fun? Huh? Kind of a, kind of a dick move. I don't know what I ever saw in you. You're nuts. Oh, you used to worship me, kid. What the hell happened? You had it right the first time. But you know what? Knowing how you feel now, just makes it that much easier to kill you. I am taking the beacon and getting out of here. This was your chance to make history, you moron. To be part of a legacy. Just for the record, I am way more handsome than you are. Oh, hell no! Well, 
Well, shit. We need to go. No, not an option. We still don't have the beacon. Well, that's convenient. Reese. He's not coming. You heard the announcement. Reese made his choice. Still, a promise is a promise. No, it's... You don't know what's going on. We said we'd meet him here, so that's what we're doing. Yeah, sometimes things are complicated. Once Hyperion, always Hyperion. Warning lockdown protocol in effect. Whoa! Okay, now we really have to go. Come on, hang our base this way. Do you know what you'd be right now without me? <laughs> Nothing! Nobody turns their back on me unless they want me to sink an axe into it, you ungrateful shit! Oh, I am not gonna forget this. Fiona, Sasha, Bond, they're all dead. Anyone you've ever cared about is gonna meet their pathetic end with my hands around their throats, squeezing the life out of them. And once they're dead, I'm going to make them my flesh pots. And you're gonna watch as your best friends tear you limb from freaking limb. Oh, my body. It hurts inside my body. Okay, so I'm guessing the president thing didn't go over so well. That's. That's fine. Yeah, that's just fine. Wow. Reese, we got a problem. Oh, cool, dude. Add it to the list. The hangar bay door is just locked tighter than a bully monk's jaw. The caravan ain't going nowhere. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, uh... I'll override it at the power core. Just give me a minute to get my ribs. Ooh, okay. <sighs> okay. I can do this. You're not doing shit. That? Well, hello, Yvette. I can't believe you shocked me, asshole. After all we've been through, little prick. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You betrayed me, remember? I never had you electrocuted. Wow, wow, we're just <laughs> really hung up on that specific act. What, what about you trying to kill me? You're never gonna make it. Get used to that idea. Cool, cool. I'll just put that in my back pocket. It was really fun catching up with that. Have a great life being an awful person. Okay, bye. Ja. Lässt er sich einfach mal im Regen stehen. Come on! This way! Hey, kiddos! Daddy's home! What's going on? Yes, dare to dream, it's me, Handsome Jack, your favorite. I'm back in the digital flesh, baby, and I need you to help me find my very good friend. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Hey, everybody. You remember that guy, Reese, the new president, the less handsome guy? Well, he's just done so freaking well at his new job that I'm just gonna throw him a big old fat party in my office. With all my friends and whatnot, but I, I just can't find him. But I, I just can't find the guy. So if you see him, why don't you do Uncle Jack a favor and bring him to me, huh? No rush. No, actually, scratch that. Big rush. Just can't wait to see the guy. You know, I just love him so much. Also, er sucht Reese und braucht Hilfe. Aber nicht von uns. Is that gentle Jim? That Gordis? Is handsome Jack. Oh, what did I say? Gehen wir mal weiter. Na, Schwesterchen. We need to get to the hangar bay. Now. Hey, hey, you idiot! You look like the kind of moron that hangs out with middle management. Do you know where Reese is? I, uh, 
Is he the one with the glasses? Oh, or... yes, what? Was... <laughs> Time to go. Yeah, you know, even though it's full of flesh-eating monsters, Pandora suddenly feels a lot safer than here. Someday, I want to live on a nice planet. Good luck with that. Hello, ladies. Great. So, how are things? Still alive, I see. Well done. Uh, just a quick quest for you both. Where the hell is Reese? I got every single Helios employee looking for that ass clown. So save him some major calf strain and turn him in already. Last I heard, he was in your old office. Uh, trust me, Cupcake, he ain't in there. Otherwise, I'd be inside him. Let's go, Fiona. He can't touch us. Well, you are just 100% right about that, Pumpkin. I can't, but my guards and their bullets sure can, and a shit ton of them are heading to you right now. Could get messy. So in the essence of saving on cleanup costs, why don't we just figure this out together, huh? I mean, I'll be straight with you. Reese is definitely gonna die. But you don't have to. I mean, I don't care enough about you to kill you. I'll never help you, Jack. You're a murderer. Hey, subjective. But you know what's not subjective is that you need me to get off this frickin' space station. Hangar bay doors are all locked up, sweetheart. Remember? Oh, here are my guards. Now remember, you had a chance to avoid this next part. You think on that while you're headbutting bullets. Uh oh! Hey, who said you could kill my guards? You bastard! <laughs> Hell of a lot of monitors in this place. Da waren die Baum stand hier gerade mitten in der Luft. Was ist das? Okay, I can do this. Just gotta hack into the central systems, reverse the lockdown, and get the hell out of here. <laughs> no problem. Ah, then we'll put it normal. Shut you down. Uh, never meet your heroes, kid. They're all dicks. Every last one of them. All right, Jack. You want to shut me out of the computer systems? Fine. Then I'll go right to the source. Let's see how long you survive without a power core. <laughs> I am glad you're out of my brain so I can finally kill you. Back off, Reese. Don't you even try to shut me down. Uh, you know what? Your puny little body isn't worth all this trouble. Seriously. Core venting process initiated. It's gonna be way more fun watching you get vented into space. Oh shit, that's bad. That's really, 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 really bad. Warning. Airlocks in the legal office. Failing. All lawyers vented into space. Why did you do this to us? Look, you obviously know us. 
You wouldn't be doing this if you didn't. So just, no more games. I do know you. Better now than I ever have. to idolize me, now you're gonna be me. You love this. It's perfect. Pandora suddenly feels a lot safer than here. Someday, I wanna live on a nice planet. Everyone thinks they're the hero of their own story.